Hi there. Now for part B of this question, it says hence or otherwise solve this equation here for theta greater than or equal to naught or less than 180 degrees. So how do we do this? Well, when I compare this equation here with what we had to prove up here, I can see that it's got the same basic form on the left hand side as what we have here, only that 2x is exactly the same as the 4 theta plus 10 degrees. So what I'm going to do is we'll just copy the equation down. Okay, we've got cosec of all of 4 theta plus 10 degrees, and that's plus cot of all of 4 theta plus 10 degrees, and that's equal to root 3. So Having spotted that the 2x is the same as 4 theta plus 10, then I'm going to just write that in, that, that therefore let 2x equal 4 theta plus 10 degrees. And obviously from this it follows that x must be equal to 2 theta plus 5 degrees if we divide both sides by 2. So that means that this equation, if we took 4 theta plus 10 degrees as being 2x, corresponds with this, which is the same as cot x. So what I'm saying is the cot of 2 theta plus 5 must equal root 3. So if I just put here then the cotangent or cot of 2 theta plus 5 degrees, okay, that's like cot x, it must equal root 3. And so, therefore, to solve something like this, I'm going to see this as 1 over tan of 2 theta plus 5 degrees equaling root 3. So rearranging that, it must mean that, therefore, the tan of 2 theta plus 5 degrees must equal 1 over over root 3. So therefore 2 theta plus 5 degrees is going to be equal to the inverse tan of 1 over root 3. And that is 30 degrees. So therefore we've got 2 theta plus 5 degrees is equal to 30 degrees. It's not the only solution though, because we want solutions between, or well, greater than or equal to naught, but less than 180 degrees. So from here, I could get a new range. If we double all our angles in here, and then add the five degrees, then we're going to get zero plus five, so that's five degrees, is less than or equal to two theta plus five degrees. And if I double the 180 and add 5 degrees, that's going to be 365 degrees. So that's my new range. And if I was to draw a quadrant diagram, which I always find helps me anyway do these kind of questions, that's naught degrees. I'm thinking where is tan of an angle positive? Because we've got a positive value here. That's in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. So I've marked those two in as being exactly the same and I know that this angle is a possible solution. It's 2 theta plus 5 degrees and I also know that turning round from here to this line here is also another possible 2 theta plus 5 degrees with this little blue angle in here being 30 degrees. So this 30 degrees must be the red one, okay, that we've got first of all here. And for the green one, that's going to be 180 degrees plus a further 30 degrees. That's going to be 210 degrees. So I'll just squeeze that in underneath here, we'll put a comma there, and you've got 210 degrees. If I was to go round any further, 360 degrees plus a further 30 degrees, that would be 390 degrees, and that's out of range, okay? So therefore, 
All I've got to do is take away 5 degrees from each of these to give me 2 theta. So that's going to be 2 theta equals 25 degrees and 205 degrees and then divide by 2 to give me theta. So theta equals 12.5 degrees or 12.5 degrees and 102.5 degrees. And they're my solutions. Okay?